we got uh, the um, the XAI data center uh, or supercomputer center uh, training um, from uh, beginning installation to start of training in 19 days, which is the fastest that anyone has ever uh, gotten a supercomputer uh, to train. Um, and is that in that new building off to the side? That's in Memphis, actually. It's was, in Memphis? Yeah. Oh, so, so that's where you were? Yeah. I see. Memphis, okay. the capital of ancient Egypt. Right, right, uh, right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, 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 you're bringing what? But perhaps that's where our new God will come from. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I wish that was funny. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I want to talk to you about a line. That <laughs> I wish that was funny. Yeah, yeah I right. Mean, well, look, um, I mean, there are, there are a few things we're aiming for with, with Grok, the XAI. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's the name of the... The, the, the AI from XAI is called Grok. Yeah. And if you're familiar with the I'm term. I'm familiar. So, I want to ask you about that, too. Well, Grok just means to deeply understand something. To Grok something is to understand it at a very deep level. Yeah. Um, to really fundamentally understand something. And that's what we're aiming for with our AI. The, 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 the stated goal of um, XAI is to understand the universe. Yeah. So to really just understand the nature of the universe what, like, what, uh, and even what questions to ask about the universe. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's our goal. I think it's a good goal. When I was, um, I don't know, about 11 or 12 years old, I um, had somewhat of an existential crisis because it, I, there just didn't, didn't seem to be any meaning in the, in, in the world. Like I had no meaning to life. <laughs> and so I actually read... Uh, Try to read all the religious texts. Uh, At that age? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I was a, vor a voracious reader as a kid. So I, you know, obviously read, read, read the Bible. I, um, I read the Quran, uh, the Torah, you know, the, the various, uh, a bit, a bit on the, the Hindu side. It just, just trying to understand all these things. Um, and uh, obviously, as a twelve-year-old, you're not really going to understand these things super well. But I've just well, you understood it well enough to have an existential crisis when you were eleven or twelve. Yeah, I'm just trying. To well, that's out, a start. Does anyone have an answer that that makes sense? And then I started getting into uh, the philosophy books, um, and I read uh, quite a bit of Schopenhauer and Nietzsche, and uh, which is quite depressing to read as a, as a kid. I, <laughs> yeah, uh, you might say that. That's depressing as a, as an adult, but. Um, and, um, and, 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 and none of them really seemed to have, to me, answers that resonated, at least to me. Um, and, um, so, but then I read uh, Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is really a book on philosophy disguised as humor. Mm -hmm. And what Douglas Adams, the point that Adams tries to make there is that um, we don't actually know all the answers, obviously. Yeah. Um, in fact, we don't even know what the right questions are to ask. Mm -hmm. um, that's where he has, you know, this in, in if, you, if you've read the book, the, you know, Earth it, it is actually a giant computer to mm -hmm. understand the answer to the, like the question, what is the meaning of life? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and comes up with the answer 42. Yeah. Um, and people are like, what, is it, what does that mean? He says, oh, you, you actually, you don't understand that the, the real, the, the thing that's going to take a computer far more powerful than Earth uh, is to understand what question to ask. Yeah, right. That's simply the wrong question. So was that the key realization that that the question? Yeah, I would was say that, that was a, that was a fundamental turning point. Yeah. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. 
And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. If you think about it, AI is actually the fastest path to communism. So, if implemented correctly, AI could actually theoretically solve for abundance. Like, we could totally get to a situation where nobody has to work, everybody is provided for with a comfortable state of being, comfortable living. AI could automate all the farming, weed out systematic corruption, thereby bringing us to as close as possible to genuine equality. So basically, everything that everybody loves about communism, but without the collective farm. Because, let's be real, enforced farming is really not a vibe. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Doesn't work out. This is the Met Gala 2018. The crown that I have on, we got the Vanta Black people. You're not allowed to use Vanta Black. It's like the blackest black that you can get. And we convinced the Vanta Black people to send us a sample of it. And then we like melted it down and like made this crown out of Vanta Black. But what's so funny is because it's the blackest black, you can't actually see the crown. And so even though we did this like crime heist to like make this crazy thing, it like disappears because it's like a extremely black material. He has the inverse of Vanta Black problem because his shirt says something cool, but you can't actually see it because it's so white that it like disappeared. We if you could be someone else for a day, someone alive today, but you, somebody you haven't met yet, who would you be? Would I be modeling their brain state or would I just be in their body? You can choose the degree to which you're modeling their brain state because so you can still take a third person perspective and realize, you have to realize that you're... Can they be alive or, or can it be dead? No, oh... Uh, uh, can, can it be anyone... You, they would be brought back to life, right? <laughs> if they're dead. Yeah, yeah, you can bring people back. For, yeah. Definitely Hitler or Stalin. Huh. I want to understand evil. Now, I, I do think there's, there's, there's perhaps still a role for humans in, this, in, in that we may give AI meaning. Um, so if you, if you think of the way that our brain works, We've got the limbic system, which is our instincts um, and our feelings. And then we've got the cortex, which is uh, thinking and planning. Um, but the cortex is constantly trying to make the limbic system happy. So maybe that's how it'll be with AI, which is the AI is trying to make our cortex happy, which is trying to make our limbic system happy. And maybe we are what give the AI meaning or purpose, you know, some kind of 